I'm going to start with um, a George Gershwin song that I heard first when I was like 10 from this taping of this piano roll thing that I had heard. I'm not going to sound like that, but uh, I'm going to try to do my best with it. Rhythm, you got me on the go. Fascinate rhythm, I'm all a quiver. Fascinating rhythm, you swing me high and low, just like a flivver. Each morning I get up with the sun to find at night no work has been done. It didn't matter, but now you're too and wrong. When you start to patter, I'm so unhappy. Why not take a day off, decide to run along somewhere far away up and make it snappy? How I long to be the man I used to be. Fascinating rhythm. Hey, fascinating rhythm. Fascinating rhythm, oh, won't you stop picking on me? Bum, 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 down, shut it up, 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 bum, 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 shut it up, da, 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 and once you didn't matter, but now you're doing wrong. When you start to patter, I'm so unhappy. Wanna take a day off, decide to run along somewhere far off and make it snappy. How I long to be the man I used to be. Well, fascinating rhythm. Fascinating rhythm. Why don't you stop picking on me? Thank you very much. As you can tell, I got a little cold in my nose tonight, but it doesn't matter because you're about to be enchanted by our favorite diva. 25 years of this diva I have dealt with, and she's fabulous. <laughs> May I introduce to you the fabulous Carrie Kate Abel Smith. Um, my name is Carrie Kate. This is Chuck, as you have met. And um, we're thrilled to be with you this evening. So sit back and relax. It's casual, so I wore a caftan. <laughs> It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around, finally found somebody who could make me feel true, could make me feel blue. Make me feel glad, maybe even sad, just thinking of you. Some others I've seen might never be mean. Or try to be boss, try to be boss, but they wouldn't do. For nobody else gave me a thrill with all your faults I love you still 
it had to be you, a wonderful you. It had to be you. I've seen might never be me, might never be cross or try to be boss, but they wouldn't do for nobody else gave me a thrill with all your faults. I love you still, it had to be you. A wonderful you, it had to be you. Thank you so much, thank you. So, oh, you're very dear, thank you so much. Um, I'll be throwing and dropping things throughout the evening, just get used to it. No, I'm kidding. Um, so that was written by Khan and Jones. I'll be talking a little bit tonight about people who have written these beautiful songs. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what it is that I do as far as cabaret goes, the difference between that and piano bar, question and answers, cookies, we've got it all. comes my way I'll do my best to make him stay he'll look at me and smile I'll understand and in a little while he'll take my hand and though it seems absurd, I know we both won't say a word. Maybe I shall meet him Sunday, maybe Monday, maybe not. Still, I'm sure to meet him one day, maybe Tuesday. Tuesday is my good news day. We'll build a little home just meant for two, from which I'll never roam. Who would, would you? And so all else above, I'm waiting for the man I love. Maybe I shall meet him Sunday, maybe Monday, maybe not. I'm sure to meet him one day, maybe Tuesday, we'll be
be my good news day. We'll build a little home just meant for two, from which I'll never roam. Who would, would you? And so all else above, I'm waiting for the man I Thank you. There's some Gershwin for you. So, as Chuck explained, we have been working together for 25 years. <sighs> I know. I don't know how we've tolerated it this long. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. It has been a true pleasure. It has been wonderful. Um, singing at all these different spots and parties and all of the people that we've gotten to know and... The songs that we've been able to sing, the shows that we have been doing. Mm -hmm. um, we do both cabaret and piano bar. The big difference with piano bar is that anybody can come up and the songs don't have to connect or anything like that. But with cabaret um, in the form that we have both studied, which has its roots in Europe, of course, because everything does, um, <laughs> it is a series of songs takes about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, where you try to branch and tell a story with this collection of songs. Um, sometimes they're funny, sometimes they're not. There's people that have used puppets. Um, Nonsense was born of cabaret at the duplex in New York City. So all kinds of things happen when you get somebody with a microphone and a piano. <laughs> exactly. Um, so the next one I'm going to sing, I had the joy of singing this summer when I was wearing other sequins and lots of red fabric um, when we performed at um, Shakespeare and Delaware Parks Measure for Measure, which was the first show of the season. And um, I will be featuring a couple songs that were used in that show this evening, and this is the first one. This is about somebody supposed to be coming home, right? Won't you come home, Bill Bailey? Won't you come home? She cries the whole night long. I'll do the cooking, honey. I'll pay the rent. I know I've done you wrong. Remember that rainy evening I locked you out with nothing but a fine tooth comb. Well, I, I know I'm to blame and ooh, ain't that a shame? Bill Bailey, won't you please come home? Remember that rainy evening I locked you out with nothing, nothing but a fine tooth comb. Well, I, 
I know I'm to blame And ha, ha, ain't that a shame Bill Bailey, oh, won't you please come Oh, darling, won't you please come Bill Bailey, won't you please come home Thank you so much. This next song um, was written by Jack and Nora Bays Norworth, and it will be sung by my amazing partner in crime, Chuck Basil. Oh, this one. Oh, That's oh, I you. forgot it. Shine on, shine on harvest moon Up in the sky mm, I ain't had no loving Since January, February, June or July No time, ain't no time to stay Outdoors and spoons so shine on You'd better shine on harvest moon For me and my gal The bells are ringing My gal, the birds are singing for me and my gal. Everybody's been knowing the where wedding they're going, and for weeks they've been. So in the air, yeah, every Susie and Sal, <laughs> they're congregating for me and my gal. Parsons waiting. And someday we're gonna build a little home for two or three or four or more in love land for me and my shine on, shine on harvest moon. Me and my gal, I ain't had no love since January, February, June, or July. Snow time ain't no time to spoon. Oh no, so shine on. Shine on harvest moon for 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 me and my guy. Darling. You're welcome, darling. It's marvelous. So these next two songs I like to call the Sophie Tucker salute. Um, 
If you are unfamiliar with the amazing Sophie Tucker, please Google. Um, also, um, were it not for Sophie Tucker, we would not have a lot of the music that we do today. But I'll leave you to do that in your time of own private study. Right. There'll be a quiz at the end. Did anyone tell you? I'm kidding. It's okay to laugh. You're not going to upset anything. <laughs>
You make a music master drop his fiddle. Make a bald-headed man part his hair down the middle. Red hot mama, red hot mama, sweetest gal in town. Red Hot Mama, you're the one I need. Red Hot Mama, you're some charmer full of speed. Sometimes I really think you're a demon. I hear me screaming. When I look in your eyes, I can see you steaming. I confess that you possess the sweetest charm in town. And unless I miss my guess, the boys all follow you around. You went up north and you couldn't stay. You melted all the ice and the snow away. Red hot mama, red hot mama, sweetest gal in town. Thank you so much. Thank you. So this next one was written in 1923. Um, L. Jolson, that's a, yes, it's 100 years old. Happy birthday. Um, <laughs> it was written by L. Jolson and uh, James Monaco. And I first came to know this song about 30 years ago when Patti Lapone came out with her live album. And I'm like, what is this? Never heard this song before. Why is Patti singing it? And of course, at the time, I didn't have any children, so I'm like, I don't want to hear that song. But now I do have children, and they're grown, and they're big, and they're needy. They're really not all that needy. But they're 24 and 26, and for anyone who has had children or has had children in their lives, we do know that in the moments when they are little, it seems like the days and the hours will never end, but they go very quickly, and then it's like, they're 24 and 26. So this is a nice throwback to when we feel like times were easier. Wonderful pals are always hard to find. Some folks have one. Some folks have none. I was alone for years, but fate was kind. And in the end, brought me a friend. Although he's not much higher than my knee, still he is the biggest joy on earth to me. Dirty hands, dirty face, leads the neighbors a chase. But his smile is as cute as can be. Making noise, breaking toys, always fights with the boys. But his eyes are a vision to see. And when my work is done, coming home to the setting sun, from the gate he starts to run, and I kiss my boy. Dirty hands, dirty face, little devil they say, but to me he's an angel of joy.
when my work is done Coming home to the setting sun From the gate he starts to run And I kiss my boy Dirty hands, dirty face Little devil, they say But to me He's an angel, a joy. Thank you. Are you ready to sing another one, darling? Come on. Let's All right. This is an old Sophie one, too, I believe. A lot of soap tonight, a lot she of She did everything. She did everything. After you've gone and left me crying after you've gone there's no denying you'll feel blue you'll feel sad you'll miss the bestest pal you ever had there'll come a time now don't forget it there'll come a time when you'll regret it oh baby think what you're doing my love to you is gonna drive you to ruin after you've gone after you've gone oh hey i gotta raise this key after you've gone you've gone there's no denying you'll feel blue and you're gonna feel sad you're gonna miss the bestest pal you've ever had now don't forget it There'll come a time When you'll regret it Oh Baby Think of what you're doing I'm gonna haunt you so I'm gonna taunt you so It's gonna drive you to ruin After you've gone After you've gone I got a cold in my nose. That's okay. (laughs) (laughs) So, how we doing? Everybody good? You chill? Good? Yeah? Planning on buying your own red sequin caftan to just lounge around the house? Beautiful. Yes. (laughs) So this, oh my goodness, about 23 or 22 years ago, we did a compilation of songs that were related to um, writers, arrangers, lyricists that are from Western New York. And we all know about Harold Arlen. Uh, We all know about Jack Yellen. And if you don't, I'm telling you now. Um, Another one is Ray Henderson, who was part of a trio, Henderson, De Silva, and Brown. And they wrote so many songs, but this was one of the biggest, and it was covered by a lot of the big stars of the day, and it's called The Birth of the Blues.
people long ago were searching for a different tune, one that they could croon as only they can. They only had the rhythm song. They started swaying to and fro. They didn't know just what to use. And that's how the blues really began. They heard the breeze in the trees singing weird melodies. And they made that the start of the blues. And from a jail came a wail from a down a hearted frail and they used that as part of the blues from a whippoorwill on a hill they took a new Pushed it through a hole till it was worn into a new note. And then they nursed it, rehearsed it, and gave up the news that the Southland gave. To the blues that the Southland gave birth to the blues. Thank you. Thank you all so much. We have a wealth of talent here in Western New York, and we always have. Um, back 25 years ago, when Chuck and I first started working together, we were lucky enough to meet up with the likes of Margaret Whiting and Julie Wilson and Ellie Ellsworth and a whole bunch of people who formed um, kind of like a cabaret collective where you would go to cabaret camp and at the O'Neill, which is in uh, Connecticut, and they would ask you to sing a song and then they'd ask you to sing it again and then you'd de deconstruct it and reconstruct it and then you would perform it. That was Carrie Kate's favorite word. My favorite word was, de I was so deconstructed, I feel like I needed to buy a Lego set or something. <laughs> it was it was it was intense but it was wonderful because here you have all of this legendary ridiculous generous compassionate talent working with the 36 of us that were the O'Neillys for that year giving us advice telling us what telling us what works telling us what doesn't and with all the gems that I was given back then, 25, it'll be 25 years ago next year, mm -hmm. my favorite moment was Julie Wilson sitting on the edge of her bed with her hair in a braid, looking at my headshot, which was black and white and glossy, hair up to the ceiling and pouting. Over the shoulder, yeah. Over the shoulder. She looked at me and she says, you look like a madam, what are you doing? <laughs> but no, sincerely, the, I mean, there's a million funny stories um, that I could share with you, but Julie has been here, Margaret Whiting has been here. Every 
single star you can think of has made it through Buffalo at one point or another. I'm hoping that Marilyn May will eventually come here. She's 95. New York's not that far. And she's still working. She's still going. Right. She's still going. It's amazing. Um, this next one I'm going to do for you. We've been singing for quite some time. Um, it was first brought to my attention. There used to be a program that would run what, every month, every other month. It was the Vicky Vogue Vaudeville. And I heard someone sing this song, and I'm like, that is for me. I have to have that song. And then I ended up watching um, the Golden Girls, and B. Arthur sang it. So I'm like, that has to be mine. So here's some Hannah. Savannah, I said, Savannah, the weather there is nice and warm. The climate's of a southern brand, but there's just one thing I don't understand. They got a gal there, a pretty gal there, who's colder than an Arctic storm. She's got a heart just like a stone. Even ice men leave her alone. They call a hard-hearted Hannah, the vamp of Savannah, the meanest gal in town. A leather is tough, but Hannah's heart is tougher. She's a gal who loves to see men suffer. To tease them, thrill them, torture them and kill them is her delight, they say. I saw her at the seashore with a great big pan. There was Hannah pouring water on a drowning man. She's hard hearted Hannah, the vamp of Savannah GA. You ought to see her, Ooh, you ought to see her. Outside, she's just as soft as silk. But socially, she's hard as nails. She's just a gal who hates the males. And when she's nasty, oh, when she's nasty, she's about as sweet as sour milk. Nothing she likes better than feeding poison food to a man. They call a hard-hearted Hannah, the vamp of Savannah, the meanest gal in town. I talk of your cold, refrigerated mama's umbrella. She's the polar bear's pajamas. To tease them, thrill them, torture them and kill them is her delight, they say. An evening spent with Hannah sitting on your knees is like going through Alaska in your BVDs. She's hard-hearted Hannah, the vamp of Savannah, G.A. They call a hard-hearted Hannah the map of Savannah G.A. Whoo, she's nasty. Thank you. This next song is one of the songs I've been singing the longest. Um, because when I first started singing, back in the Stone Age, um, there are certain songs that you're told, oh, this is for a young person, this is for an older person, this is for this person, da -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. the stories run far and wide, and you can pick and choose what you want, I think. I didn't think that then, because I was a mere child. Um, but the more I listen to these lyrics, and the more I consider what I think was trying to be said here, the more I realize this song is for everyone, especially just how troublesome and crazy the world can be lately. There's just been so much going on. We're, we're all overwhelmed. And we're all at a point now where it's almost impossible to just take a break, step away from the phone, step away from the computer, because this is the world that we live in. But every now and again, I think it helps 
to take a step back, take a breath, listen to or revisit an old song, and just give yourself some peace of mind. Sorry, I'm forgetting which one is that. <laughs> it, oh, is that. it is casual. Yeah, thanks. See what happens after you work together for 25 years? There's a saying old says that love is blind. Still we're often told, seek and ye shall find. So I'm thinking I have in mind Looking everywhere, haven't found him yet He's the big affair I cannot forget Only man I'll ever think of with regret I'd like to add his initial to my monogram. Tell me where is the shepherd for this lost lamb? There's a somebody I'm longing to see I hope that he turns out to be someone to watch over me like a little lamb who's lost in the
Thank you. That, of course, was more Gershwin. More Gershwin. More, yes. So I would like to thank you all for joining us this evening. We do have a couple more songs. Um, the pieces that you will hear after this one are songs that, bless you, sweetheart, um, were songs that um, we were made familiar with from our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents. Um, I will be closing the show by singing an acapella of a song that my great-grandfather, Boleslaw Zelinska, whose pen name was Billy Arden, because Billy Arden rolls off the tongue a little easier. Um, they were on Gibson Street right by the Broadway Market. And back during um, pre-World War II and World War II, he wrote a bunch of Tin Pan Alley music. And then in the 40s, when Hawaii became the big thing, he wrote a bunch of songs about Hawaii. Today's song is not about Hawaii. Um, I'm still finding his work. I'm still finding his music. Um, but I just, before we start to close it out, I want to thank Marty Wimmer and WNED so much for inviting us. We have had, this has been truly an honor, truly a pleasure. Um, thank you, of course, to my partner in crime for 25 years, the fabulous Mr. Chuck Basil. Thank you. And Miss Carrie Kate Abel Smith, please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Though it pains me to do it. No, it just pains kidding. you. It pains you. So a lot of people, when they hear this Irving Berlin song, think of Judy Garland, as, as you should. But I think of Dorothy Spornak.
<clears throat> Take it away, darling. This is a song um, that my grandmother and mother used to sing together at the piano when I was a kid. And it was um, a song I forgot about for years. It's from World War I, actually. My grandmother was born in 1901. And she was almost 40 when she had my mother, so she was like a generation older than most of my mother's parents. Her friend's parents, I should say. My mother's parents. Oh, my God. That's, geez, somebody you got. Sounds like a Groucho Marx joke. But anyway, um, so she really knew the old, old, oldies. So this is one of the ones I remember as a kid. When the clouds roll by, I'll come to you. Then the sky will seem more blue down in lover's lane, my teary. Wedding bells will ring so merrily Every tear will be a memory So wait and pray each night for me Till we meet again till we meet again Someone far away Longing for someone To be near to And wishing They were here today There's a land far away That I call home sweet home and it's with me each day that I'm gone prayers that are whispered in twilight worry that comes with the dawn but the hope and the light shines a sweet holy light over songs that tomorrow may bring in the land far away that I dream of each day. It's a place I call home, sweet home. Thank you all so much for joining us this evening. Thank you, folks. <laughs>